What's up, Aquarius? Kings, queens, and everything in between. I am Austria of Unbothered Queen. And today I will be channeling the collective of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury in regards to love for a general versus message for the 15th through the 21st. Please keep in mind that this is neutral energy. So this could be you or your person. So please take it as it resonates. Also, Also, if it doesn't resonate, please be sure to look at your other placements, okay? All right, and at the bottom we have honeymoon. It says enjoy the bliss of holiday time together, as well as retreat in the reverse here. You could be finding it hard to spend time or like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like beneficial time, like um, time, like intimate time with your person at this time here. We have... Um, it is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Some of you guys are thinking about past relationships and that's keeping you from moving forward in your current one. All right. It's keeping you um, from thinking that you can trust this person or be open to this person. We have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Like how you view love, how you saw love displayed to you, all of that kind of changes our viewpoint on love or how we um, treat people that we love. And this could also be your person's energy. I just like to um, reiterate that because it could be, but you know, you take it as it resonates, you know your situation. It ha we have release your ex, the time has come to clear your energy. Like I said, a lot of you guys are keeping up with that past energy stuff from the past year that. <laughs> it's like it, it's really holding you back is holding your holding your heart host, hostage here um because you don't like some of you could have felt like really hurt by something that happened in the past and you don't want to feel that pain again none of us you know want to feel pain so it's like you keep your heart closed off and keep remembering that old shit and a lot of you have manifested unknowingly fucked up relationships that resemble your past relationships because you keep thinking about that hurt and that pain from that past person intent challenge and action please spirit happiness your love your you loving me more i'm sorry you bring me more love than i could ever imagine and it's something about new perspective here so someone is seeing this romance in a new light we have opening up i closed off the, i closed the door before but i'm now ready to let you in this is the intent we have obsession i'm obsessed with you and our memories it's almost killing me the challenge like i said you're letting that shit from the past play over and over again running through your mind run free here liberation <laughs> liberation oh my goodness um i'm sorry y'all i just be okay i'm setting myself free and embracing new experiences and this is you're liberating yourself here um, from this obsessive thinking about the past and things like that. Again, mutual energy can be you or your person. All right. I just saw change here. So it's definitely some sort of change is coming about. Um, some sort of third party situation could have ended. Okay. Um, obviously, that's not going to resonate with everyone. Just keep that in mind. All right. Um, what's the why spirit? Show me the why. All right. All right, I gotta regret. I regret the things I should have done but never did. So someone's regretting something here. Loneliness, I am feeling the burn of loneliness but I am ashamed to admit that. And that's why someone is making the effort. Because they don't wanna be alone or they're afraid of being alone. Watching you. Watching you on your social media lights up my life. If you are in separation from someone, they are watching you. And this is why they're coming back towards you and ready to open up. 
contemplation. I've been thinking a lot about us. Tell me, do you think about us too? This is that past energy going back and forth. If you want to be with this person or not, trying to figure out um, kind of which direction you're wanting to go in. Foolish. I like the maturity to handle a person like you. Some of you could feel like you were foolish for dealing with someone in the past. You could also be um, at this point wanting some sort of new opportunity and kind of some sort of new beginning here and be in a place of, okay, I'm going to own my freedom. All right. All right. Your person's energy will be on the left. Yours will be on the right here. So first we'll get your person's energy. Le I'm about to say Libra. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Libra. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Venus and Mercury's person spirit. Thank you. Clear and concise messages, please. Thank you. All right, we have the Five of Cups. And this is all, again, about regrets here. Um, about regretting some sort of decision that was made. Uh, regretting pushing you away with the Four of Cups. With the Ten of Swords, yeah. Some of you guys, like I said in the beginning, are definitely in separation from someone. Definitely rejected someone. Definitely broke up with someone. Because this person is feeling a lot of regrets for pushing you away here. Yeah. Yeah, especially if there was a third party situation involved. Um, and they were displaying some sort of toxic behavior here. Or you let them go after this situation. After you fi found out about some sort of toxic shit here. Cause I'm getting like, they could have been like, well, you know, they tempted me to do this. Let me know if it was like a friend or something like this. Cause for some of you, I'm getting that it could have possibly been a friend. All right. Um, spirit, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Mercury. Royal Aquarius. Thank you. All right. Ten of cups here. All right, so you're going after your emotional happiness. Yeah, eight of eight of swords and the reverse. This is all about liberation, which is that energy. You know, you are feeling like a lot of you guys are like, I'm going after my happiness here. And you're releasing the bullshit Capricorn energy. Whatever makes you happy, that's what you're going towards. And you're trying to release this toxic energy but for a lot of you you're feeling like this person has a hold on you you could be dealing with their child's parent here like feeling like this is something that you have to see a lot yeah you could feel like even at this time that you're doing this or you're releasing yourself from this because you feel like this person no longer loves you um you feel like this is you know something that you didn't know before and you're you're tired of giving your love to this person if they don't give any love to you yeah. All right, spirit, clear and concise messages for Aquarius's person. Challenge here. The challenge for Aquarius's person. Thank you, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. All right. Mm. <laughs> um, Aquarius energy <laughs> with this dark card. The Queen of Pentacles here. Again, you could be dealing with your um, baby mother, baby father, Sagittarius and Capricorn's energy with the Emperor Aries energy at the back. All right, so that's definitely giving me the sense that this person feels like they don't have any power to fix this situation here or to nurture it. And they're going back and forth in their head trying to figure out how they can heal this with you because they don't know, you know? It looks like um at this point in time you could have put your foot down here and been like you know enough is enough you know because this person was in a place where they have um they could possibly have control issues definitely a lot of immature energy here six of swords here at the back yeah this person they don't really want a commitment and that's their problem but they want you but that's not what you want you want a commitment Taurus energy with the higher font in the reverse. You want a commitment, but this person doesn't, but they still want to keep you around. Like, baby, no. No. <laughs> it's like they want to nurture this union without having to be with you. How how you do that? Like, how does that happen? How do you like make this work here? And they're they're like wanting I'm <laughs> I always say like you want the girlfriend experience or the boyfriend experience without um without that energy like no baby no that's not how that works 
you can't force somebody into that here because like it's like i want to get back with you i want to heal this you know i want to nurture it but i you know i want to sell boundaries i don't want us to really be in a relationship relationship if you don't sit down what's the challenge here for aquarius what's the challenge here all right we have the um two of swords here you gotta make a decision yep the seven of wands here you you know um standing up for yourself eight of pentacles <laughs> yeah do you want to work on it or no you know that's that's like legit with this that's like do you want to work on this relationship with this person or do you want to decide that no i'm, I'm okay you know, because it's either you're going to stand up for yourself and you're not going to take any more shit from this person. You're going to understand that you have the power and defend your honor because no one else is going to. Or you're going to try to work on something that you've been trying to work on prior to. Something that legit makes you unhappy here, though. With the Empress card in the reverse, that's Taurus Libra energy, and the Judgment card in the reverse, which is Scorpio's energy. You feel like this person makes you unhappy. You feel like this person is not a good choice for you. Because of all the things that they've done in the past, but still you're thinking about it, which is make, makes me feel like you're possibly dealing with your child's parent, definitely. And, you know, you don't have to be with your child's parent. I mean, it's nice, you know. And not, you know, saying like you shouldn't be or nothing like that, but just saying things are not always going to work out. And sometimes you are only with people for a season. Like some people don't be realizing the reason you came to be with this person is to have that kid. That was it. Y'all was never supposed to ride into the sunset together. All right. Give me the action here of Aquarius's person. What's the action here for Aquarius's person? All right, we have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. We have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. And we have <laughs> the Judgment card in the upright, okay? Scorpio energy here. This person doesn't know what they want to do. They are going to drag this shit out. They don't want to have to make a decision. They don't want to have to make a decision to choose which way that they want to go. This person lacks commitment. They don't know if they want to be with you or not. You know, it, this is for you to choose at this point. You know, because a lot of things are going to be revealed to you or they already have. And you need to figure out if you want to stay around for this or not. Yeah, lovers card in the nine of pentacles. This person chooses them. They choose they, and they choose their selves. Gemini energy there. They choose their selves because they they really want to be single. They like the life. They like the single life. Okay. They do. All right. What's the actions for Aquarius? All right. So Leo energy with the Sun card. Ten of Pentacles. And the four of wands, you're going to get stability by yourself. Like, period. You're going to be happy. You're going to get stable by yourself. Continue to build your confidence here. You are going to um, be in harmony with yourself and what you want. A lot of you guys are going to be focusing more on your career moving forward. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to heal the things inside of you. And for a lot of you, that's your inner child. Um, for a lot of you feeling like, you know... Um, you've suppressed a lot of emotion and things for a very long time and now you are feeling liberated and you're going to start to heal yourself and focus it on yourself also a lot of you guys could stop talking to this person to be sure that you're able to do that all right go ahead and give me the signs that aquarius are probably probably dealing with during this time <laughs> okay that they are dealing with for those that want to say like no this isn't my message oh no no all right they're concise messages thank you all right we have sagittarius here we have capricorn we have air libra aquarius gemini as well as jupiter sagittarius energy again all right, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. I send it back to you guys tenfold. And please be sure to share, like, 
comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.